Hey. Good day. I've taken care of that camp. Oh, yes? And what proof might you have of that? Here it is. Very well. Here's your reward. It looks like your job is done. We don't know of any other camps, so let's hope we'll have some peace for a while. Very well. What are you loitering around here for? You did your job. You got your money. What more could you want? Well, some thanks wouldn't go, miss. I've thanked you enough with money. But if you want someone to embrace you and sing your praises, go to the local baths. They know all about that sort of thing. Now be off with you. I still have things I need to do. I have some... Uh... Let's have them. Very nice. Jesus. Whose house is this? It's our local custodian. You don't seem to... Well, of course I did. No man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel. Can't be all bad. What is the... Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? Well, in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. I'm much obliged. <laughs> You look bored. Beyond. How can you be bored here in Sasa? Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me. Like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Well, they say there's not much left of poor Procopius. What's that got to do with anything? I'm not blaming you. It's just that only monks have access to the reliquary in the crypt. Folk were even taking relics away from St. Procopius' cave for protection before. Now no one's allowed in there. I know. But I'd never dream of doing that. I just wanted to touch them for luck. Maybe I could help you. How? You're not planning some mischief, are you? No, not at all. I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Oh, no. Hmm. You'd do that for me? Of course. Then I'd be very grateful to you. Just as I thought, there aren't any remains here. Hmm. Looks ordinary. A bit too ordinary.
I've got a bowl for you from the cave of St. Procopius. A bowl? I was expecting something a little different. Behold. Ah, is it really from St. Procopius? Well, I think I ought to make sure. I've got a... A bowl. Behold. Yes. You're right. I mean, you're dead. Thanks, but I don't want anything. I was glad to help. Truly? Well, thank you. My pleasure. And Henry? Yes? I just wanted to touch it for luck. Just for a while, he says, to help your neighbours. I've got something for you. Really? Drink this, and you'll fall straight to sleep. Oh. Dear Mistress Johanka, I've come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. <laughs> You certainly have earned some... What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? I'm taking care of the wounded, as I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them, and let me talk to Johanka. You're not needed here. Wouldn't it be better to have the banquet here, Custodian? What? If you won't give the sick anything else, can you at least hold the banquet here? Nobody's going to talk to me that way. Lock him up for the night and let him learn some manners. Got you, you scum, and now you'll pay for the murder you committed. Personally, I'd rather string you up, but unfortunately, all I can do is throw you in jail. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell him. <laughs> but that won't help.
Jail? Just the accommodation. Volume.